I really wanted to start this uh, What the Formula series with like a quick short, uh, well, a couple of short videos. That didn't happen. Occasionally in physics, you find a puzzle and you are required to find a solution. And occasionally you find one where you kind of know how to do it, but then the more you dive into it and the more you start solving things, the more you realize that it is an absolute cluster and nightmare to unravel that takes up the entirety of your day. Let's get started on this one, shall we? Okay, we have this question from Isaac Physics. And I really like Isaac, Isaac Physics. They give you some horrible, horrible questions to solve. Some really nasty things, but you learn an awful lot on the way. Basically, we have a system uh, which looks like this. We've got like a, a cell, and it's going to have an internal resistance up here. Fairly straightforward. And then what they do is they add a, another cell, so like this. Now they say, okay, you get power one coming out of this circuit, you get power two coming out of this circuit, and they say power two over power one is equal to yeah, seven over five. And then they ask, what is the ratio between R, capital R over little r? So attempt number one. Okay, so a couple of equations we're going to need for this one. Let's start with uh, P equals IV. And you're going to see why I'm putting all these things out in a second as I try and ramble these together. Okay, we've got um, power 1. So power 1 is that circuit there. P equals IV. Very straightforward. Okay, then we're going to go down another step. We're going to substitute that one in there. So we end up with P equals V over RT times by V. Okay. Now, the total resistance in this one is R plus little r, because these things are in series. So we end up with this happy little formula, R plus R, and then these two become V squared. Great so far. That's good. But now we need to work out this one. And this is where the trouble really begins. All right, so attempt number two on this one. So we have P equals I squared R, which is going to be I squared big R plus I squared little r. And that's going to be, you know, the power dropped across this thing, the power dropped across this thing. I should be the same throughout the entire circuit. So there we go. Now, all we've done is we've added another cell onto this one. So that's got some EMF and that's got some, um, some resistance on there, an internal resistance. And the EMF is going to be V. Now, okay. We've got a problem here because the voltage across that cell, the, the EMF, is not going to be the same for this one and this one. So we, we kind of, there's more difficult in this one. So we can't really just use that formula there because the, the total voltage is wrong and all that kind of stuff. We do know from Kirchhoff's law that current going through is added. So we know that the current going through this thing is 2i if we have current there and current there. We have the roughly the same current going for this thing and the same current there, and then we go for that one, which means that our new formula for P2 is going to equal, great, looking pretty easy. We can just sort of make that a little bit tidier and say 4i squared r plus 2i squared little r. Great so far. I mean, looking a bit weird and wonderful, but that's fine. We then go on to our next step, which is working out the ratio. All right, good. So this is great. We're cooking with charcoal now. We can cancel out these horrible I squared bits. And then we end up with 7 over 5 is equal to this, which is great. We can say that 4R oh, plus uh, 2R is uh, equal to 7. Yeah, yeah, okay, okay, here we go. So R is equal to uh, 13 over 2. R plus 13 over 2 is All right, so in that case, R is equal to 5 minus 13 over 2. Um, 
which is equal to minus 3 over 2. So we've got a negative resistance. Right, start again. Right, so I know what the problem was. Um, basically, uh, the I here is not the same as the I here, simply because the current is different. So I can't say that I and 2I and I are there because wrong. This was wrong, wrong science at all. But uh, what I did find was that if you basically, instead of saying this was an I, uh, so two I, you said that this was 0 0.5 I, it was three over two or something in the end, but then that, that, of course, that that's the wrong answer. So what I found is if you took this and then you started the derivation, so you ended up with uh, seven R plus, sorry, derivation, you end up trying to solve the problem with this one, seven R plus that. So we end up with negative resistance again. So that is basically, it, it doesn't work. It's just, so if you, uh, if you do this instead, what's based on here? R over R is, 3 over 4, which uh, Isaac Physics says is correct. The reason we found this one is because the student made a mistake. Basically, they just uh, flipped this thing around and then flipped this thing around and solved the problem, and they accidentally got the right answer. What this means is that the question is wrong. So there we go. We can kind of, kind of leave it at that. So we can say that the question is wrong. We kind of have to assume that the question is correct, because the logic we've used to get to that point could well be wrong. Now this is it's a nice little chain, it seems to work, which means that this probably is how we ended up with the uh, formula. And um, well, let me sort of lead you through the, uh, the idea of this one. So um, uh, okay, so let's say I1. V is equal to V1 plus V2. So P, I just had to zoom out into the numbers. We end up with actually the G sum. So what that means is now that we have like P2, V plus 2. Uh, so yes, we can go that. So then the next step. Little thing to solve. Um, so bear with me a second. This, this is how it works. Um, what follows is a simultaneous equation, which uh, doesn't work. Just doesn't work. I tried doing the formula from uh, Isaac Physics. It doesn't work. I tried using the hints they had. They weren't very helpful. So my conclusion is that the question is broken. I was right before, they just got this bit the wrong way around. All right, I'll leave it there. Okay, one more thing. You know, I used to play a game called Guild Wars 1, and Guild Wars, it's got a second edition now, and Guild Wars 2 is a fantastic MMO, but I really love Guild Wars 1. It was um, an MMO, back in the day when World of Warcraft was popular, uh, when it first came out, in fact, and it was one of the competitors. And it had a really interesting skill system. Basically, it was like Magic the Gathering. Lots of different skills which did weird and wonderful things to people, like interrupts, and uh, when you interrupt someone, they would take damage, or you would daze someone, or you'd burn someone on fire, and then you could uh, do, do knockdowns if someone was on fire with a different skill. And so it was a lot of combinations of things. And the interesting thing about that was that when you played like... Um, like yeah, the, the PvE stuff, so fighting against dungeons and bosses and things. If you were finding the dungeon really, really difficult, it was probably because you were doing it wrong. And one of the wonderful things about physics is that that's kind of true in problem solving in physics as well. If you're finding a problem really difficult, clear everything away, try again, start with something new. So let's have a look at this. Now, the first part of this is really easy. We know that power, one, by the various bits of derivations is gonna give us P1 is equal to V squared over R plus R. And we had that right from the beginning. Now, we could try and solve this as in like one loop on this side, one loop on that side, and adding the two things together. But we end up with too many variables to work out. We could try equating the currents between the two. 
we could try and do a simultaneous equation making, well, because we know that the voltages, at least the, the EMF here, is going to be the same for across the batteries. And we could do that. Or we could cheat. Instead of putting this on this side and that on that side, I'm actually going to put these two things together. I'm going to do something like this. Now I can do this because the voltage is going to stay the same. We still have V here. The current going through is still going to be I. So I can do that. The combined current going through this thing is still going to be I. Even if you split these two things apart, it'll still be I plus I. The current here, that is going to be I over 2, which is what we'd expect to see. Basically, uh, current comes in here, and they add to each other, so you end up with 2i there. And then through this one will be i, and through this one will be i. If I just uh, combine these two things together, so basically model them as like one big cell instead, then I end up with just i going through. i plus i, i plus 2 plus i over 2 equals i. This becomes really, really easy. Because now, I've got a parallel set of resistors. And the formula for parallel resistors is this. 1 over r total equal to 1 over r plus 1 over r. All these three circuits are equivalent for what we want to do. There may be some other bits which don't quite work, but these three circuits are equivalent for the information we want to find. Because now we can say this. P2 is equal to the EMF squared divided by the total voltage, uh, total resistance. The total resistance is R plus R over 2. Now that's still quite a long bit of calculation, but it is miles easier than what we were doing before. So if you are struggling with a question in physics, stop, wipe the board, throw away everything you've done, see if you can just reimagine the problem instead. And then maybe everything becomes a lot easier. Hope that helps. And don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. If you have any other questions you want to look through, just write it down in the comment section below, and I'll have a crack at it. I spent a long, good long time on this one, but I have to say, really enjoyed the process of figuring out all the stuff I didn't know, and all the new tricks I can come up with. See you in the next video.